Ladies and gents, we got a little project going on here today. I'm assigned with, uh, I kind of assigned myself with selling a car. And it's my parents' 2002 Toyota Camry. Yes, this is a 2002. It is 22 years old and has only 90,487 miles on it. That's an average of just over 4,000 miles a year. Now, the majority of the miles were put on in the front half of the life of this vehicle, and then this vehicle kind of sat for a while. It wasn't driven all that much, maybe 1,000 miles a year, that sort of thing, um, if that, towards the end. But it runs phenomenally. Literally everything works. The AC blows ice cold. The radio functions. Um, I should try the cassette deck. I don't even know if I have a tape, but if I had a tape, I can pop one in and see. CD player works. You know, it drives phenomenally. It runs super smooth. Gets running right now, and it's just like steady. There's no shake in this car whatsoever. The transmission shifts great. It's gonna make a great vehicle for somebody who needs just an inexpensive vehicle. Inexpensive vehicles these days are very hard to find. You know, when you're talking about a car that's five, six thousand dollars, it could be something with two hundred thousand miles on it that's that's ten to fifteen to twenty years old. You know, there's not much out there that is quality, or or what I'm considering as quality is this: one owner, clean Carfax, again, an average of four thousand miles driven per year, which is next to nothing, and not to mention what everybody knows is it's a Toyota, right? Toyotas last forever. This car will go 200,000 miles, no problem. So for someone to pay five or $6,000 for a car like this, uh, they're getting a very good car and my parents are gonna get a very good deal. And when I say my parents are gonna get a good deal, I mean my parents are gonna get the most value out of the car that I can get, the most money I can get out of the car which uh, here you see it is. We're gonna go over it right now. We're gonna take a look. I'm gonna show you a couple things that I'm gonna do to it to kind of dress it up. We're gonna take photos of it today and today we are going to get it on Facebook Marketplace. Now it's the cosmetics that are really the issues on the car. Mechanically, the car is running perfectly. It's great. The brakes are good. The tires are good. It's ready to go, but it's got scratches. It's got normal you know, wear and tear for 22 years of it sitting you know between houses when you're running back and forth and, and scraping it with things you know whatever the case may be you know it hasn't been waxed in a long time uh you know but for someone that's looking for reliable quality transportation the cosmetics may not necessarily be a thing and I, like what i mean a thing to consider like let's focus on the fact that it mechanically runs into to get you from point a to point b now that being said we want to make the car look as presentable as possible in the photos and if there's any little things we can do to help with that, we're gonna do it. And one of them is the headlights. So you just saw we bought the uh, Severcoat Ceramic Headlight Restoration Kit. No tools required. It was the cheapest one of the bunch. Again, this should do the job to clear these uh, headlights up a little bit. So I'm gonna do one headlight and then we'll compare it to the other one and see how good this, uh, this stuff works. I just read through the instruction card. It seems pretty simple. Step one, you're gonna take the oxidation remover cloth and you're gonna rub it all over there. They give you six of these. So I'm assuming three per headlight. It says in the directions, use them all. Get as much oxidation off that headlight lens as you can. Step two is you're gonna take uh, this little uh, handle here. You're gonna put on little scrubbing pads, either um, the red and then the gray. And you're gonna basically sand down the lens itself, wash it off after that. And then you go to step three, which is the ceramic clear coating that you're gonna put on top. So we're gonna knock this out real quick. I did reposition the car so the lights are in the shade because that's what it recommended. And I think this will just give it just a little bit of an extra better look when I do put the photos online. It's just something that right now draws negative attention and we wanna turn that into a positive. We just completed step one, we rinsed off the headlight. Now the next step is to use the red, uh, I mean, it looks like sandpaper to me. Back and forth motions, non-circular motions while the headlight and this pad are wet. So we're gonna make sure this is wet. We're gonna make sure that this is wet and then we're just gonna start sanding away.
Step two is complete. We're just gonna rinse it thoroughly, dry it completely, and then apply the ceramic, uh, I guess, clear coat last step. It's now completely dry. It does have a bit of like a clouded uh, look to it, which says, uh, that says it's normal. And then we're gonna apply that last coat. Uh, it definitely looks a little bit better. If I go to, from the, the driver's side to the passenger side, you can really see the difference. But let me put that last third step on and see exactly what it looks like when it's done. What it says to do is actually just rub this once from bottom to top, top to bottom with a 50% overlap technique just once, and uh, which is what I just did. Now it does ask you to let it sit for about an hour before you drive or get it wet. Uh, it took all the cloudiness out of it. It looks very, uh, very clear. And again, when you compare it to the other side, it is definitely a night and day, a night and day uh, finish. So we're gonna knock out the other side here and then that'll be uh, something that really just helps with the appearance of the car when we list it for sale. The job is complete. That Cerakote stuff worked great. I would say I worked on this for maybe 25 minutes to a half hour. I didn't go crazy with it, you know what I mean? Like I could have probably spent more time in a sense, but I'm just doing it to give it a, a clear, more presentable look. Obviously that one you already saw on the uh, driver's side, passenger side is all done as well. It's funny looking at it now, the headlights look better than like the bumper and the hood. Before the headlights were sort of what drew your eye to it as a negative, now it's sort of like just uh, imperfections. I gotta put the front plate back on, I took it off just to make this video. Uh, one other thing I was going to do was get new lug nuts because the lug nuts are sort of all sort of rusted out. However, I priced them up and they're like $5.45 each. So to me, I'm not spending $100 on lug nuts just to kind of dress it up a little bit. We're not gonna worry about that. Uh, as you can see, again, the tread on the tires, actually, let me start it, turn that tire so you can see exactly how much tread is on there. Oil's been changed, tires, brakes, everything checks out. Uh, right now we have 90,497 on it. You can see you got to about just under 95,000 miles before you would need another oil change. And uh, again, tires and brakes, everything brand, pretty much brand new. Perfect tread. Still had the little, uh, little, whatever they call those things on the tires. I mean, they're literally new all around. Runs super smooth. This is the four cylinder um, four cylinder engine. I didn't clean under the hood, so this is pretty much exactly how it, uh, you know, how it's looked just from 22 years of life. But look at the smoothness of this, there's virtually no vibration at all. This you can see vibrate a little bit because it's on a rubber hose, but it just runs phenomenally. Someone's gonna get themselves a really nice, reliable car here. I did a quick wash job on it yesterday, uh, you know, just basics on the outside, a little bit on the inside as far as vacuuming. I will try to clean up a little bit on the interior as well, although like in the back seat here, if I unlock it, no one's really ever sat back here. I mean, maybe a handful of trips or, or little uh, drives where my parents had people in the back, otherwise it's pretty much been nobody. I did buy a set of floor mats because this obviously with the hole in it is no good, so we're gonna ditch this. New floor mats, another 20 bucks. Again, nothing much, just makes it slightly more presentable. There we go, new floor mats. Another thing that was sort of irritating me is this uh, little panel on the back of the trunk here it keeps falling down and uh, it doesn't stick anymore. So I'm actually gonna use these little clips uh, like this just to hold it on each side. Just like that, nicey nice, fixed. Those are pretty much the only things that I wanted to kind of fix and correct. I considered actually doing a full, you know, pay 200 bucks, do a full paint correction and uh, you know, wax job, that sort of thing. But quite frankly, I think I can just put it out there for, you know, maybe $6,000 online. And if somebody wants to negotiate a few hundred, great. If not, we'll sell it exactly how it is as a very reliable, dependable Toyota with a lot of life left in it.